All right, so we're here at the Sony booth now. They announced some really cool products. Probably the biggest thing is the TVs you have in the background, the new Bravias. Those are pretty awesome. We're going to talk about those first, but we're also going to talk about some other cool products they have on display. Not all of it is necessarily new, but I thought it was cool enough that we can go over it and show you guys. I think you'll get really excited about some of this stuff, or at least hopefully as excited as I am. So why don't we not wait any longer, go look at the best stuff at the Sony booth. All right, so starting off, this is probably the flagship product that Sony announced. This is the new OLED, the Bravia A1E. They have a few different sizes on display, but this is Sony's first OLED TV. And this has a couple interesting features. Obviously, it's 4K, HDR, all the fix-ins. It also does Dolby Vision as well as HDR10. But probably one of the most interesting things on this TV that I haven't really seen on any others is there are... There's no speakers on this thing. The actual display is the speaker. I forget the type of technology they said it was, but that's why you're not going to have any speakers on the sides. It's not going to be on the back like you see on some TVs, which kind of doesn't produce the best audio quality. It's coming right out the front, and they said it's just going to be as loud as any other typical speaker set. And we'll show on the back over there, you can see that these actually have, the back is a subwoofer, acts also as a stand, and then you plug everything in on that back panel. So you can also actually fold that in and wall mount it, so it kind of does both, so you're not restricted to using it as a stand. They also said one of the biggest things they put into this is the processing for the video, and they're using the X1 Extreme 4K HDR processor, and that is going to allow them to get a sharper image in terms of upscaling as well as just native video that's shot in 4K. Obviously Sony has a lot of experience in doing it video processing from their cameras as well as their panels. So that's going to be really useful. They have a display over on the other side of the booth where they kind of show the advantages of that X1 Extreme processor in terms of sharpening conventional images as well as upscaling the bit mapping for the deeper color, the wide gamut, as well as just straight up resolution. We don't actually know when this is coming out yet. They said it's going to be this year, I believe, but they haven't had a hard date yet. It's definitely cool though, something to keep an eye on. Not sure the price yet either, but I think this is something that is interesting, especially to see how it compares with the other OLEDs on the market. The other big companies are all starting to do this as well. This has that interesting feature with the no speakers, so I could definitely see that being something that you might want to go for, so pretty cool. For those of you who want a projector and also have $25,000 to spare, this is something you might be interested in. This is the Ultra Throw. It's a 4K HDR projector. So this ultra short throw projector, we kind of looked at one at the LG booth, but this is obviously going to be on a total another level. This is a laser projector. So the other one was LCD. I'm not totally up to scratch on the technology, but the laser technology is going to mean that it's going to be easier to get the uniform brightness across the entire screen, as opposed to if you're just using lenses, you're going to get that drop off at the top, as opposed to the bottom as well as that resolution. So this is pretty interesting technology. We can throw in some examples of what this looks like in action. This thing only has to sit a few inches from the wall, so the idea is that you don't have to have it hanging or anything like that. It basically sits on the entertainment center itself so this is really neat although exceptionally expensive but I mean if you got the money or if you want to wait a few years I'm sure this is going to come down in price and the technology is going to improve this is really exciting looking at it inside they had a demo that it does look great so this is something to keep an eye on for sure take two the other one wasn't recording apparently thought you guys would like to see something interesting real quick this is the Sony FS5 which is actually what we're recording with right now you guys don't really get a chance to see it that often and then all the way on the right over here is the FS7 that's like the big daddy the step up from the FS5 and then this is the most interesting thing is the new FS7 Mark II it actually came out a couple months ago I think in November but they have it on display here this is the first time I've seen it in person it's got a couple interesting features that are on the FS5 but weren't on the FS7 so that is like the variable neutral density filter. For those of you who know what that is, it's basically a type of LCD screen that is adjustable to adjust the exposure, whereas normally you kind of had to have these static sheets that would go in front and rotate around. Now it's kind of like an electronic one. So I thought that would just be kind of neat to show you guys, and we can move on. All right, so another cool thing we just checked out is the Dolby Atmos soundbar. And obviously we can't really 
show you on video how it sounds, but it is pretty interesting. Basically, the Dolby Atmos technology is going to, I'll try and explain it in a nutshell, basically maps different audio objects, so they're called, onto different speakers, so the system kind of knows where each of your speakers are, so then it can map that audio and make it sound like the, each individual thing is in that space. So in this case, it's actually just a bar. There's no surround sound speakers at all. It's all in the front, but it still is able to make it sound like it's almost like a surround sound system, and it kind of did. So they said that the shape of the room doesn't actually matter in this case, just the ceiling. They said then in other sound bars, it's about a 10 foot limit, whereas in this one, it's about 17 feet. So you can pretty much use this in almost any room, and it's going to basically almost turn it into a surround sound system. Probably not as good as a true surround sound system, but it does do, I believe, 7.1, or at least sounds like it. So it is pretty good, and I thought it sounded pretty great. All right, so that is the Sony booth, and we took a look at some of the cool stuff. I think the Bravia TV is definitely the number one thing that most people are going to be interested in, but we also took a look at that awesome projector, the processor for the Sony Bravia, and some other cool gadgets that they had. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. So let me know what you think, and have a good one.